Shifting gears now to a story out of Florida where a teenage girl has just been reunited with her family after being abducted by an online predator. North Miami Beach police say 15-year-old Jaime Enriquez met her abductor through a video game chat before he took her from her home. Joining me now for more on this, Dr. Kathy Cook, president of Celebrate Kids and author of Screens and Teens, Connecting with Our Kids in a Wireless World. Doctor, we've been wanting to get you on for a little while now. We appreciate your time. Thank you. This reminded me of a story with uh, one of my kids, and this was 15 years ago. I walked through the room. He's on a video game talking with someone on his headset. I said, who are you talking to? He said, some guy in Philadelphia. And I went, what? Wait a minute. Who? And, and this was 15 years ago. People watching now might not realize how easy it is for kids today to communicate with complete strangers online. It's very true, and it's a, a very important reason for us to guard our children and not let them have devices perhaps in their bedrooms where they're alone and we're not supervising them. Do kids not realize the danger of this, doctor? Because a lot of them do it. It's almost like they feel like there's nothing wrong with talking with a complete stranger. I think a lot of them think that it wouldn't happen to them. They think they're above it all. You know, they're the center of their own universe. They think that they're their own authority. No, th nothing bad will happen to me. I'll be protected. There's naive, you know, thinking in that, right? It's, it's a sad thing. Yeah, we had actually a story right here on uh, News Nation Prime with Marnie Hughes. There was a missing segment that involved a 15-year-old who now has been reunited as well. She was taken by a man after connecting on an app that is actually built yeah. to connect strangers. That's their slogan, talk to strangers. And someone else who was on this app talking about strangers had been talking with this girl and then contacted the authorities and that's how they were reunited. You know, I think part of it is that they're trying to invent themselves. They're trying to experiment with who they are. When we raise children to know who they are, to know their strengths, to know their challenges, to not deny their identity, they're not going to need to play the game. They're not going to try to pretend. So we need to make sure as parents and grandparents and siblings and educators, pastors and priests, we need to be in front of our kids and say, this is who you are. Own this and love this about yourself. Yeah, the other thing is that kids know a lot more about all of this stuff, the technology, how it works, and not only that, but how to get around the hurdles that parents try to set up for their kids that parents don't even know about. That's very true, which is why a lot of parents today are using devices that do not have any social media or internet or gaming. Nothing can be added. Those devices now do exist. You can track your children through a watch or a phone, and I think people need to look into that. And again, we need to make sure that we know what we're doing as much of it and let our kids teach us, sit side by side and say, you know, Jeremiah, teach me what you understand about this. Let them be the experts and see what they tell you. All right, Dr. Kathy Cook, president of Celebrate Kids and author of Screens and Teens, connecting with our kids in a wireless world. Thanks for the time again, it's great to see you. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.